Are you tired of trying to create a perfect mask in Premiere Pro and always ending up with not a perfect mask? And a new way of creating masks is to select the rectangle tool or any of the other shape tools or even the pen tool. But in this case, I'll be using the rectangle tool. So I'm going to create a perfectly proportional rectangle like that so it can cover the whole text and on the right hand side when we go to the session graphics panel and by the way if you don't see it on your workspace you can go up to window go down to essential graphics click on it and you have it on the right hand side as you can see now we've got a shape layer but if i go down to where it says mask with shape i'm gonna click on it and this will turn the shape layer into mask and you can see that the icon change as well and I forgot to mention that before you start doing all these things, select the text layer. So after that, you're going to have all this stuff at the same place. Next, I'll go to the effect control panel, select the text and open the properties. I'll scroll down and from transform, we've got position and scale. I will create a keyframe on the position and drag the text all the way to the left. And as you can see, the text will disappear and I'll move 10 frames forward by holding shift and hitting the right arrow of the keyboard. And then I'll bring back the text onto the program monitor. So when I play it, we've got this simple animation. And that's how you can animate the text. But let's show you how you can animate the mask as well. This time I open the mask properties, go down to transform and create keyframe on the position. Then I'll drag the mask all the way to the left and hide the text. I'll move 10 frames forward and drag back the mask onto the program monitor. And we've got almost the same animation like the previous one. And if you want to learn more masking effects in Premiere Pro, you should watch the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.